Hello my friends, today I will show you on this video tutorial how to connect your Alexa. I have here brand new Alexa Elite and look at this, it's, it's big, it's not that small, it's good. And uh, in this video tutorial I will show you exactly step by step what you have to do to connect it. There are too many requests and uh, too many questions to my inbox on tips to fix how to connect Alexa because the problem is with router, with Wi-Fi router. There are a lot of Wi-Fi routers unsupported from Alexa and so in this video tutorial I will show you exactly what to do with your router first. You have to change some options, some security options before then you try to connect with Alexa. So follow me on this video right now and I will show you. You have to see your Wi-Fi router Username and password also admin IP address admin IP for accessing this Wi-Fi router is 192.168.1.254 And we have username user admin and also the password. This is the default uh, admin user admin IP and admin password, but if the internet company changed the username and password and IP address for the router password, you have to call them and let them know who you are and also ask them for these credentials because you need to change the settings on the Wi-Fi. When you have all the credentials we need for modem, for this Wi-Fi modem, we will try to connect on the computer. So I will show you right now. First of all, you need to connect on this Wi-Fi router. I'm, I'm just connected and I will see, just click the properties and I will see the IP address. On my case, the IP address is uh, 192.168.0.6. Click control panel. Click network and security. Network status. Click here on the Wi-Fi. Click details. And here on the details, I will see my IP address on the on this computer, but also the default gateway. What we need is this default gateway is 192.168.0.1. So it's different than the mod. It's different than default mod on the modem. So what do we have to do? I will access the modem with this default gateway. This is what you need. Default gateway. Okay, here. Click on the browser, open up your browser, Chrome or Mozilla, whatever. Just click 192.168.0.1. Okay, here we are. We are here on the modem right now. Just we need to have, we need username and password. So my, my ESP provider they change the user default username and default password. I asked them on the phone and they told me what they put on the router. So now I have access. So you do the same. Click login with this web view interface. So I am in the router. Go to network. Click network on the left. Click wireless. And here I will show you exact settings you need to set for your Alexa. Mode, leave it as it is, auto, B, and G, and N, okay? Bandwidth, put it mixed. Be careful with channel. Don't let it auto. If you let the channel auto, Alexa is not able to connect. So you need to set the channel manually. Set one channel. Set it as a 6 or 7, okay? I, I set it 6, the default channel. Transmitting power 100%. Be sure VMM to be disabled. If it's enabled, disable VMM, okay? Disable VMM, let's go down there. Enable CD, yes. Enable broadcast, yes. Port mode, yes. Don't forget, disable isolation. If it's enabled, click disable. Disable isolation, okay? Maximum users, okay? Use encryption mode, VPA or VPA2 personal, and uh, the same as I did, and use it both. Share, put another password or put your password here. Also, if you need to enable VPS, here it is. You have to yeah, enable VPS and be sure to be PBC. This is the version of VPS mode. 
none other version will work. So click save and that's it. So this is the first step you need to do. Setting up the Wi-Fi router with settings required for Alexa Echo. Okay, let's go in the next step now. After setting all the settings for Wi-Fi routers ready for Alexa, we have to now try connection. Okay, first of all, we need to connect Alexa. Just put the plug, the power plug in, okay? And here is the model. Here is Alexa, it's waking up. We have here this, this button. It's Wi-Fi button and it's blinking. Now, what we have here on the router, we have a small button, we call it VPS, okay? So that's great. First of all, just push this button, VPS, once. Here it is. You will see the blinking light on, on the screen here. You see VPS? is on. What we have to do now, we have to go to Alexa and just push that button for three seconds. Okay, you will you will hear the chimp noise, the chimp sound. Now it's trying to connect with Wi-Fi router. Also, let's see it here together. They are trying to connect together without any password, without nothing. Just click that button, hold for three seconds, and here we are. Let's see, we are waiting for connection. Here it is. Now, Alexa is connected with our Wi-Fi router. Okay? This is method one. First method. Short method. Now you have Alexa connected with your router. So I will show you another method if you are not able to connect in any ways. You're trying a lot or your modem do not have VPS. So I will show you the other method now how to connect to your Alexa. Okay, method two for connection. I will disconnect now from Alexa. Okay, Alexa is hearing is hearing her name, but it's not configured yet. So it's another step to configure uh, Alexa software. But for the moment, we are trying for connection. Okay. But what I have to do, I, I just have to reset. I click the reset button, hold it. Here we are. I just reset Alexa. Okay. On this method, you have to hold this Wi-Fi button in this time, not for three seconds, but eight seconds, okay? Click and hold for eight seconds. The sounds once and you will hear the sound again. Alexa is doing this uh, lighting. And what is doing, Alessa is turning on her Wi-Fi. So what do you have to do now? You see, Alexa is, is blinking Wi-Fi like this smoothly. This means it's ready for configuration. We will do a full configuration right now. You need to go to your computer, okay? Go to here to Wi-Fi and here, you will see my modem, I connected to tips to fix, but also you will see Play Fi or Alexa Echo device or something. But in my case is Play Fi 2 device, okay? What we have to do? We have to connect to this Wi-Fi, okay? Just click connect with Alexa Wi-Fi. So I connected with Alexa Wi-Fi and there is no internet. That's good. We don't need, we don't have to have any internet from Alexa. So we just need to connect with Alexa. So what I did, I just connect Alexa with my laptop using Alexa Wi-Fi ad hoc. So this configuration is web interface. Okay, is Alexa web interface. Good. 
click here on properties, right? You will see your IP address. This is the IP address Alexa gave to you. It's 192.168.069. Go to your browser and type 192.168.0.1. Okay? Go to setup. Click setup. Okay? Now we are able to see tips to fix listed here on the list. Choose your Wi-Fi network, put your password. In my case, I put my password, Wi-Fi password, your Wi-Fi password, okay? Click next. Here, custom name, put a custom name. I will do Alexa, okay? Click next and you will click, you will click next. Let's see now. Alexa is trying to connect with modem. Let's see. It's blinking. Okay, here it is. Connection successfully. Okay. So the blinking stop and I see now a Wi-Fi light turned on and no blinking. Here it is, Alexa is connected with Wi-Fi. Okay? This is the method 2 how to connect Alexa with Wi-Fi router using your laptop for connection. Okay, go to Play Store, search for Alexa, for, search for Amazon Alexa. It's a little, it's uh, near to 100 megabyte, it's 93.9, 94 megabyte. My device, it's not Amazon Echo device, it's Elite device, it's from Pioneer, and it's from PlayFi. So I have to install also another software in my case. But in your case, if you have just Amazon Echo device, you have just to install Alexa and no other software. But I have Elite version, it's from Pioneer. I will use another software, I will show you right now. Open up your uh, Alexa software. Open up the software. Okay, put your here. You can create a new Amazon account. Okay, put your name, put your email and create a password. So after you are doing this, you have to sign in. I am just going back because I did. I created the um, I have the account. So what I have to do, I have to log in to use the same credentials of the Amazon. You have the same credential. You don't have to have different account. You have to sign in with your Amazon account, okay? Just use Amazon account. If you have it, use it. But you have to create if you don't have any Amazon account. You just go to create a new Amazon account. Put your name, your email and your password and you create your Amazon account. I will try to connect with my Amazon account. So after you logged in, here we are. So help Alexa to get to know you. Personalize your experience. I'm your name just click hello click hello again and here we are nice click next click next okay it's helping me with these new features click done so here we are what do you have to do just go to devices done add new device okay you have to add new device here add new device you have just to click add device and search for yours amazon echo in your case but in my case not because it's not echo it's not echo plus it's not echo sub it's not echo auto or bus or something you have to choose yours echo studio Depends on what you have or other device. Okay. In my case, I will use skills and games because I will connect with PlayFi. Okay. And I have to go to skills and search for PlayFi. This is my case. Search for place PlayFi. I have to install this PlayFi. Okay, so I have this 
option installed. If I see disable it, I will enable it again. Enable and you click enable to use. If you have the same device I have, you need to do the same step. But if you don't, you choose on the list. So Amazon account is asking me for allowing the PlayFi to connect with the speaker. And I click allow and PlayFi has been successfully linked. Okay, close the window to discover smart home devices. That's good. I'm closing this window. Also, I will open up again. Just go back. Discover device. She is trying and looking for devices. Okay. When you click discover device, you will see device here listed directly on the network. Yes, I'm connected on the network. Okay. On the Wi-Fi network in the same Wi-Fi network. So, uh, in my case, it will find nothing because I have to install another software. But in your case, you will see your speaker here, listed here directly. Okay. So, let's see to the end. Okay, no device to me. Let's close this. Okay, I have to close this. I have to go to Play Store and I have to search for Pioneer Music Control. This is my software, Pioneer Music Control app. It's because third party company. I don't have Amazon Alexa Echo. I just have this Elite Pro by Pioneer created to work with Alexa. Okay, I will open up the software. Here I see. So click here on Amazon Alexa. Click here. Click here. Click sign in. Click next, click signing with Amazon. Okay, it will search for the hello. Yes, click OK. Here I hear the sound and it's connected. Okay, it's connected. I click done. So what we have to do now, if you see, I have Daniel's VA for W40 is online. So I am connected with this device now and it will, and it's showing up on the, on the, on the Alexa, uh, software. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure about that. I just connected. Alexa, welcome to my house. My house is available with Amazon Music Unlimited, which lets <laughs> Alexa? you play over six. Try asking me to tell you a joke. I did before. So thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, let me know if we have any other difficulties to connect Alexa with Wi-Fi router. So God bless you and let me know.